السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول اللہ ولاحلی وصحاب اجمعین اما آباد دی بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز مائی سبجیکٹ از ویکیشنز وی نو ان لائف وی پاس تھرو ڈفرینٹ ٹائم ٹائپ آف ٹائمس سم ٹائمس اٹس بزی لوڈڈ وتھ ریسپانسبلٹیز اینڈ سم ٹائمس اٹس ٹائم فار اے ویکیشن وٹ ڈو وی تھنک اباؤٹ ویکیشنز Dear brothers and sisters, I want to share with you something which is very precious to keep in mind, especially during vacations. It's a hadith of Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, as is recorded in Bahaqi, Shobul Iman, and authenticated to be authentic in Sahih Al-Jamin. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Iqtanim khamsan qabla khamsin. Use five things. before five others come hayataka qabla mautik your life before your death because when we are dead we can't do anything but when we are living we can do good deeds we can earn sawab we can get the right beliefs and get the right actions second wa shababaka qabla haramik your youth before you become old because we know that when people become old they are unable to do many things they can't see properly they can't hear properly they feel weak they don't have strength enough dear brothers and sisters especially those of us who are young use your youth before you become old don't say that oh let me enjoy myself because this life it has more to it we live with a purpose our life has a purpose we need to be focused on the real purpose of our life if we miss that out then we're going to lose it out because when we are old we can only desire to do some things many people say that when you become old you ought to become religious but this is not true because number one we don't know if we're going to become old we don't know if we're going to live long enough to become old so many people die young and when a person becomes old and if he has lived a life when he didn't think of god it is possible that he won't think of god even after becoming old So we need to know what is the purpose of our life. Hayataka qabla mautik wa shababaka qabla haramik. The Prophet also sallallahu alaihi wasallam said number 3 wa wa hayat wa shababaka qabla haramik number 3. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said wa sihataka qabla saqamik. Your health before you become sick. Because when we are healthy we can do lots of things. We can do lots of activities. But when we become sick we can't do much. and then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said number 4 the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said wa faragaka qabla shughlik your free time before you become busy when we have free time many people end up doing time pass and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said wa malaka qabla faqrik your wealth before you become poor dear brothers and sisters these are five things which we need to use before five others come the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in another hadith which is in sunan tirmidhi authenticated to be sahi in sahi at-tirmidhi hadith number 1969 the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said la tazulu qadam ibn adam yawm al-qiyamah hatta yusallu an khams the feet of the son of adam are not going to move on the day of judgment until he is asked about five things five things we all will be asked about five things and when we answer these five questions that's when we get to move and what are these five things The first is the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said an umrihi fi ma afna about his life in what did he spend his life wa an shababihi fi ma abla about his youth in what did he spend his youth because when a person is young his energy is full his blood is hot as people say and when his senses are working perfectly what did he do in, the, in that time see we notice that umrihi fi ma afna his life also includes his youth but there is a special question about the youth meaning it will be checked double wa malihi min ayna aktasabahu wa fi man an fi ma an faqahu about his wealth from where did you earn it and in what did you spend wa madha amila fi ma alima and what did you do about that on which of which you knew the brothers and sisters we see these five questions are very important and we need to know that vacations is not a time for time pass vacations is a time when we think of doing good deeds the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said as is recorded in sahih bukhari volume 8 hadith number 421 kitab ur raqaiq 
the Prophet ﷺ said that نِعْمَتَانِ مَقْبُولٌ كَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ There are two blessings which most people waste. And what are these two blessings? These two blessings are sihat wal farah is health and free time. So dear brothers and sisters, majority of the people they waste, they waste their health, they waste their free time. And these are things which we have in plenty on during vacations. So vacations is not a time for time pass. Vacations is not a time to be bored. Rather, vacations are, are times. Vacation is a time when we need to think of doing good deeds. We need to think of doing as many good deeds as possible. So that if we were to see a photograph of before and after, you must have seen those advertisements, before and after. So before vacation are scale of deeds and after vacation are scale of deeds. It should be heavy with good deeds. So I have some suggestions. Number one, remember your purpose of life. Vacation is not a time to forget your purpose of life. So many people die in their vacations. Do we want to die and not know why we're living? So dear brothers and sisters, let's know why we're living. The Quran says as in Surah Al-Zariyat, chapter 51 verse 56, Allah says, God Almighty says, I have created jinns and men only so that they worship me. So we need to remember the purpose of our life. Vacation is not a time to forget the purpose of our life. Let's get that, that out of us. Number two, let us not waste time. Vacation is not a time for time pass. It's a time for time using, using the time. See, because faraga ka kabla shuglik, there are times in life when a person is so much burdened with responsibilities, he's unable to find time. So when we have time, we need to use it for good deeds. So dear brothers and sisters, we need to do good what good can we do? Number three, read the Quran, understand the Quran and learn the Quran. This is a book which the Prophet ﷺ told us, which Allah tells us in the Quran in Surah Al-Hashr, Surah 59 verse 21. If this Quran was sent down on the mountains, you would have seen the mountains fall down in utter ruin. Brothers and sisters, Let's learn this beautiful book. Let's read this beautiful book. Let's absorb it in our veins. Let's know the purpose of our life. Let's know our creator. Let's li live lives by which we are pleased when we stand before God on the day of judgment. So seek Islamic knowledge. Seek knowledge about the purpose of our life. Seek knowledge about what does our creator want from us. Seek knowledge about things which will help us to be more conscious about God Almighty. We need to do this. We owe it to ourselves. We need to do this and also use it for good things. Healthy hobbies, good hobbies, hobbies which are good for us and don't take us, take us away from the purpose of our life. Hobbies which are beneficial for us rather than avoid time. And of course, dear brothers and sisters, keep yourself away from movies and music. Movies and music, they add to the scale of bad deeds. They make a person forget the purpose of his life. They make a person forget that he's going to stand before his creator. So I call on you to take the, on this seriously and to listen and give heed to this. This is an advice from a brother of yours. Dear brothers and sisters, I end this with a verse from the Quran from Surah Mulk, Surah 67 verse 2. It says, He who has created death and life so that he may test which one of you is best in deeds. Wa akhru dawana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alameen.